Let's bring in 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy is finishing up a speech. Uh, was kind enough to kind of step aside and answer some of our questions. Vivek, it's always great to have you on. Uh, I just want to talk to you about a couple of things. First, th this Nashville shooting at the Covenant School, almost a month later, uh, a transgender person, of course, shoots up six people, kills three nine-year-olds, three adults. We still don't have the manifesto. Uh, President Biden still hasn't spoken with uh, or visited the victims and their families. And it's kind of amazing that he is bringing these Tennessee lawmakers who violated decorum on the, the House floor of the, of the legislature in Tennessee. It's kind of baffling to a lot of people. Your thoughts on this? They're going well, look, to I think it's a shame that President Biden has not yet even reached out or visited the victims or their families. President Kam Vice President Kamala Harris went all the way to Nashville, only embarrassingly to focus on the lawmakers without meeting with those families. That's not leadership. It's an embodiment of fear in our country. And I'll tell you this, they better release that manifesto. We have to understand the tragedies in this country to avoid repeating those mistakes over and over again. And it's because we all know why it is. This was a hate crime under any other guys. Turn the tables. This absolutely would have been treated very differently. And you know what, Trace, I'm actually going to make it a point to go down to Nashville. I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that we actually get that release so that we don't see the same mistakes being made again and again in this country. The trans movement has become a cult. We have to relief, release ourselves from this cult back to seeing truth in our country. That's what's important in this. That's what's important in this situation. Your course of campaigning right now, I want to put this uh, poll on the, on the screen. This is the Wall Street Journal GOP primary preference poll. You have Trump leading at 48 percent, DeSantis, uh, Nikki Haley at 5 percent. Uh, you have Tim Scott and then Vivek Ramaswamy at 2 percent. It looks like the president could announce his run as early as Tuesday. Your thoughts on that? So, look, I think it's going to be a disaster for the Democratic Party if Joe Biden announces as he's expected to. But I think that we ought to focus more on what we stand for in our movement. I think Joe Biden is in largely a distraction. What we need to revive is what do we stand for and why do we stand for it in the conservative movement? And I'll tell you, the America First movement, it does not belong to any one man. It does not belong to Donald Trump. It doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the people here. It belongs to the people of this country. And I think that if we're able to take that America first agenda to the next level, I think not only can we go even further with the agenda, shutting down government bureaucracies, ending affirmative action, going further even than Trump ever did. Yeah. I think we can also unify the country in the process. And I think that's something that goes beyond just Republican versus Democratic politics. I think that's an opportunity for a landslide election in this country in 2024. We're two points further ahead in that same poll that you said than the last time they ran it. So I think yep. we're making progress towards that goal. But I think there's an opportunity for a landslide victory in this country in 2024, like Reagan delivered in 1980. Yeah. And, and I, lastly, I lastly just wanted to kind of check this because I know this week you had to give Don Lemon a bit of a history lesson. Here's the back and forth, and I'll get your final thoughts. Black people, they hold, hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. It's Man. insulting that but you're sitting regarding here. regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, I'll what tell it's you. like to be black Whatever in ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. I'm not sure I would have had the same diplomacy, Vivek, but, but it, you know, it was a lesson <laughs> worthwhile giving. Look, I think that we need to engage in that open debate. That is why I do this, Trace. I will go to the other side, go to their home turf, and yes, win. Because I think we actually need to persuade more young Americans in this country. Even when I'm traveling in places like Iowa, New Hampshire, we're going to college campuses, talking to people who think they're progressives, but they're really just lost and hungry for a cause. A lot of them think they agree with Don Lemon. By the time I'm done with them, we'll squeeze them and make some lemonade out of it, I would say. You know, I think that what we actually teach these people is that we share American values in common rather than just fetishizing our diversity and telling people they can't speak or express an opinion because of their race. That's what's divided our country. But I'm done just complaining about it. We're going to actually practice yeah. what we preach. We're going to debate the other side, and that's how we unite the country. And so we're glad to be doing it, Trace. Vivek Ramaswamy, great to have you on. Back to your group now. Thank you. Thank you, Trace. Appreciate it. Well, meantime,